What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you what I give my lovely sister to eat in a day. And you know, some of you that have been following my channel for a couple of years probably remember my sister's weight loss journey, you know, from the beginning when she was heavily overweight, she was carnivore for a little while and then I uh, transitioned her off the carnivore diet after she lost all the weight back to like higher quality organic, slowly incorporating more like standard American type foods. Unfortunately, I had kind of like a falling out with my parents on it because, you know, I'd buy all her groceries, I'd prepare every single meal for her, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, every single day, seven days a week, and I would, every single day almost, I'd come home or I'd come into the kitchen, and my father would be feeding my sister something she wasn't supposed to be eating like she was a dog. And, yeah, I mean, I was making her cookies, I, I always told her, Gina, whatever you want to eat. I'll make it for you a healthy, high quality, organic version because I'm spending so much time and money investing in my sister's health and my parents are basically sabotaging me. So I, I got I got so angry, I just couldn't take it anymore. I said, fine, do it yourself. And now, you know, my family is basically feeding her what they eat, which is standard American diet crap. Uh, I, I, I think it's partially because my parents are cheap, partially because they don't believe food has anything to actually do with your health, yet both of them go to the doctor twice a week. I don't want to focus too much more on the negative, but the reason I'm bringing that up is because some of you guys might be like, oh, Frank, this diet you're feeding her isn't healthy. This isn't get that great. There's too much carbs. There's too much this. There's too much that. Compared to what the average standard American person is eating, this is far better. We have nice approachable foods that are delicious. We're adding a protein content to each meal because most people are deficient in protein, B vitamins, and more importantly, we're going higher quality organic, removing a lot of the negative and inflammatory things. And uh, this diet is also something that's uh, a little bit easier on the liver, so to speak. It has a nice balance of fats, carbs, and protein. Uh, so we're gonna get started uh, with her lunch because it's the night before, and I'm preparing that, and uh, she goes to uh, her day program now. Who knows that, how long that's gonna last before they shut everything down again. Uh, but here we go. Super simple lunch. Just a turkey breast sandwich with some potato chips. And this is like the herb seasoned turkey breast they had. It's organic. It's leaner. Look, it's not the best. It's not the worst. But uh, she really likes this. And uh, one theme you guys will see with all of these meals today. Super, super easy. Five, ten minute prep. Everything's done. You know, although, you know, it's, it's more than you spend on typical groceries because it's higher quality. It's healthy. It's nice. It's tasty and it's quick. Uh, so these just have the potatoes, sunflower seed oil, which is horrible, and sea salt. You know, these aren't the best, but again, compared to what she's normally eating, a little bit of omega-6 is not the end of the world. You guys are very familiar with this. I've shown this in a lot of videos. It's the best bread I believe to be in the supermarket. Still not perfect though. Definitely you know, one of the higher quality foods in general. And turkey breast, I don't really have much positive to say about this. Outside of hopefully, you know, we get this slaughterhouse on Frankie's range meat and I'm making high quality cold cuts because one thing I really miss in my life is having, you know, Italian sandwiches. It's my favorite thing as a kid. And we did a classic Italian deli sandwich a couple months back and I was so sick after eating it because of the, the low quality deli meats. It's even the highest quality organic stuff that you can buy in the supermarket isn't that great. So I'm going to assemble all this stuff in plastic, unfortunately, because... Uh, you know, I'm not buying everything here myself. As you guys would expect, we have the turkey sandwich on the sourdough bread with the potato chips. I put at least as much meat as there is bread because you really want to enforce the protein on this meal. And if you do have a kid, you know, they're in developmental stages of life, animal protein is the most important thing for optimal growth, making sure, you know, they don't end up at 4 foot 11 inches tall like my sister. I would even give your kids uh, raw cheese, even those like string cheese snacks if they're organic, just to really, really give them the animal nutrients they need. But you know, people like myself and my sister don't really need as much protein in this stage of our life as young people, so this is good. Maybe a little too heavy on the potato chips, uh, but we'll give her a treat uh, for tomorrow, and then the rest of the week we'll make sure to go a little lighter. So this will just go in the fridge, and, um, I don't know what this bullshit is. This was the, the meal my uh, my dad actually made for her instead because I didn't don't think I told him uh, I was making her lunch. He gave her 
some conventional salami rolled up with some black olives and water. I don't know, what is that, like 50 calories? I don't know what the hell else she must be in the program if they've given her that. But this is her actual lunch. I mean, my parents would never admit to it, but I, I really think it's about the money after seeing what they feed her. It's actually <laughs> despicable. I can't fucking I can't deal with this shit. Hello, you two people. Good morning. I'm here to make myself breakfast. Today I'm having cereal, my favorite cereal, organic pecan butter, peanut butter, peanut butter and <laughs> cocoa balls. All right, Gina, so before we show them that, <coughs> uh, what she usually has is eggs with almond milk. And this might be something that the average person thinks is okay, but when you actually you know, read labels of stuff like almond breeze, you realize it's kind of just marketed to be appear as healthy because when you fortify it with all these chemicals, uh, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D2, it's, it's really, really not good. And you could talk about this for a little while. And the eggs are just basically, you know, conventional brown eggs, which have a lot of estrogen, omega-6. Don't really want to be eating those. So, although the average person might think that you know if there's sugar in this it's not the best thing but having a little bit of protein in the cereal added with some whey is, is a way to alleviate that and this has some additives too it's not perfect but as long as you avoid certain ingredients in the cereal like soy which this one actually has so you know not all cereal even if it's organic it seems similar is created equal so we have this this just make sure to look down the ingredient list and see which one looks better and then choose that one. For the milk, I like using canned coconut milk because it doesn't have any additives in it. The only ingredient in the coconut milk is water and coconut and guar gum isn't too horrible of an additive. If you want to add protein to this, what I would do is just take the coconut milk, put it in the blender with a scoop of whey protein maybe a little vanilla and honey, and then you can put that in the cereal with it. I'm not gonna do that today, but that is a good way to add some protein to your kid's cereal if you do wanna do that. I only just have like one bowl of cereal, that's what I normally do. So the coconut milk has a good amount of fat in it that'll kind of hold you over. Whereas if you're adding skim milk or some other type of milk like a lot of people do, it uh, it's just too much protein and carbs and digest mm. too quickly. So why don't we sit down and eat? How do you like the cereal? So from a caloric perspective, you know, that's maybe 150 from the coconut milk and maybe 200 to 300 from the cereal, depending on how much you put. So you could have a, you know, a solid 400, 500 calorie breakfast, maybe have a little more, a little something extra, and then you're good. So Gina's going to have her cereal, which she enjoys. Oh, you already put your lunch in your bag, Gina? Mm-hmm. So Gina put her lunch away that we made last night and she's going to have that in her program and uh, we'll see her back for dinner already. Mm -hmm. Bye YouTube people. All right, so I'm prepping my sister's dinner right now. It's basically, you know, as we said earlier, standard American diet, much higher quality, really trying to pick out foods that don't have too many negative ingredients and she's having hot dogs and some french fries. So. Yeah, I did a video where I made my own fries, but I'm definitely not doing that today. So we just have some Whole Foods organic French fries in the oven with some salt on them. These are the shoestring fries, which don't have too terrible of an ingredient list. It's, you know, the fries, a little bit of canola oil, apple juice concentrate, citric acid. So from a processed food perspective, these are actually really, really good. The hot dogs are... Just warming up here in the pan with a little bit of oil. And these are the organic turkey hot dogs. Uh, sometimes they get the beef, sometimes they get the turkey. I, I usually like going with a lower fat one because, you know, the fat is where a lot of the negatives are stored in these, you know, conventionally raised animals. Even though it's organic, it's still not that great of a choice. And they put some seasonings in here, paprika, garlic. But it's all organic. There's nothing too horrible in it. This is... Probably one of the healthier things that the average person might be uh, feeding to their kids if they do buy organic Applegate having some decent products. And hopefully in the future on Frankie's Free Range Meat, 
you know, hot dogs and charcuterie and these sausages are one of the first things I like to tackle to actually get people a high quality product. Of course you can't have the hot dog without the bun and maybe I'll be crazy enough to do my own uh, bun recipe in the near future, especially hamburger buns. But this is probably the worst thing we have today just because it does have quite a bit of additives. Wheat gluten, wheat starch, soy lecithin, ascorbic acid. Again, it's not horrible, 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 but it's not the best. Uh, and then we just have my favorite brand of mustard. It tastes pretty good and it only has a couple ingredients in it. Mustard seeds, vinegar, water, and salt. About as good as it gets. We're doing two hot dogs because you know one hot dog is only 70 calories and, and 7 grams of protein so we definitely want a little more in the meal and it's nice you know you're giving your kid protein every single meal of the day they're gonna enjoy it they're gonna like it by no means is this you know completely perfect the best the healthiest options if you made everything from scratch it would be pretty dang good you know if you made your own fries if you made your own hot dog, if you made your own hot dog buns, this would be as healthy as it gets. You're feeding your gut microbiome with all the carbohydrates. You're giving your body the nutrients, the B vitamins with the protein. Man, how would any kid not love a meal like this? So we've got the hot dogs with the mustard, some fries. And I wasn't too happy about the bun to hot dog ratio. I actually considered making three hot dogs, cutting one and a half, and putting like one and a half hot dogs in each bun. Or you could just trim the bread off a little bit, but hey, nothing's perfect. So that's why I gave her a little less french fries, a little less carbs, but I'm sure she'll love this. And I think this entire meal is around 500 calories. So, you know, although my sister is kind of tiny, you know, this definitely looks like a lot more food than it actually is. Hello, you two people. I'm so, here for my dinner. I actually went to go call my sister and she was walking up the stairs as I went to get her. So I'm guessing she heard me talking about hot dogs and food and got a little bit too excited. Well, I do love hot dogs. What's wrong? Do you know mom and dad are feeding you slop for dinner lately? I miss your cooking. Mmm. <laughs> a whole hot dog. It's a little too much bread, right? Not really. Not Guess not? Okay. So those french fries don't come with salt on them, so just make sure to put a little salt and oil on them. Mmm. These are delicious. All right, well, Gina's going to wolf down everything for dinner. And I guess we'll see her for uh, for her snack, right? Mm-hmm. So as you guys see, there's like a theme with all these meals. A balanced amount of carbohydrates, protein. Carbohydrates being the predominant energy source. Uh, but... Oh, mustard is spicy. I put a little too much mustard on there, maybe. <sighs> spicy. <laughs> I like it. Spicy, just like my brother. Oh, they saw it, Gina. They saw it. Mm. Alright, Gina, we'll see you for a snack, okay? Bye, Mr. People. So, Gina, what have you been having for a snack lately? Um, well, uh, it depends when I'm in the mood. Sometimes I have. Don't <coughs> allergies. Sometimes I have these, but. I was like too much what have you actually been having, Gina? What have mom and dad been giving me? My dad has been giving me those like crappy rice cakes and I do not like they're dry as hell. He's so, giving you rice cakes for snack? Yes, they're in the cabin here. Let me get them for you to prove. I already heard of insulin. It's like the, the wow. installation of the house. That's what it sort of tastes like. Insulation, Gina, insulation. Exactly, because I'm not that smart. This is what they look like. This is what happens when your parents are cheap and don't know anything about nutrition and think they can put their daughter on a healthier diet than you can. So, go figure. These need to go in the garbage. Do you still have a thing of ice cream in here? Oh, there's some cinnamon applesauce in here. I bought this a couple months ago. I don't know if my parents got some more. She just never had this. This stuff is actually decent. It's only organic apples and organic cinnamon, but there's, you know, some plastic concern. Not too high in calories, so, you know, you could even give them two of these if they want. You know, to open When's the last time you had these, Gina? It's been a while since I've ever had applesauce. Okay, so it's probably the last time I bought them. This is what happens when you eat rice cakes. You can't open a container of applesauce. I will slap you with some applesauce. Mmm. I like cinnamon. We all know she's too hungry to do that. Mmm. This is delicious. 
I think I remember having that. It's not that sweet because they don't add sugar to it, but it has a really nice texture because they like pureed and pass it through something, so it's not bad. It's quick, it's easy. Uh, I did have the best bars in the in the fridge for her, but again, my parents don't seem to care. The best bars just sat there for like three months and then they suddenly disappeared. I think they got thrown out. Mm. But uh, this is a decent snack. It's not too horrible and uh, not too full of anything negative either. And your kids will love it. I think the younger kids especially would like the texture. Mm. Not that you should be feeding this to babies or anything, but all right, Gina, that's going to be it for the YouTube people. Bye, YouTube people. I'll see you all. Uh, Maybe when we taste some food for the next recipe. For the next recipe, I'll probably taste my brother's delicious cooking. So, yay!